Hello, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel, I'm SimTwitch and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 7. So here we are back in S class for the first time in quite a while for me. Um, that guy he looked like he wasn't moving so I tried to move out of the way and then he started moving. Um, I think either way I would have gone into the back of him or lost time. Um, so here at Suzuka having quite a good start. I actually had a really good race at Suzuka before this one. Um, and then I realised that I'd been playing for like an hour without recording anything or I had started recording and my laptop died because I forgot to charge it um, and then once I set it back up I forgot to press, press play for like 40 minutes um, so yeah going around the outside maybe of that drifting Porsche I certainly thought about it and I think there we go. So we're up to 7th already from what was last. And this Aston Martin really felt good here. I don't know what it was. Because um, I do not like Suzuka. Uh, I find it quite a difficult track to drive. Um, it, I can never get the flow right. But this Aston Martin was really good. I think it's fancy faces um, in S Class. It's tuned for the O2R spec lobbies if you've seen any of those around um, so yeah now we're going to go past the drifting Ferrari um, in the proper colour but he's going to send it up the inside before finding the gravel or the runoff at Spoon and then I think I downshifted there which really upset the exit that was the one thing I always struggle with Suzuka is Spoon's exit um, and this car that was the one thing it didn't like so you can see here even despite that we're really gaining on this Noble in front um, it was more of a handling build Noble which I was surprised about um, actually quite a lot of people were running them um, they're like 6, 7, 6, 8 handling and I don't ever remember doing that chicane before so yeah I I messed it up quite badly. I haven't really got an excuse other than I've never seen it before. Um, I'm pretty sure because generally I'll back out of Suzuka. Um, but I didn't have much time when recording this. So I just did whatever came up. And now we're going to come up behind again that Noble and a Porsche. And the Porsche, I don't know if it, whether he went for a swipe on the Noble or what. But for some reason he drove into the side of me and instead of letting off the throttle he just continued to drive through me uh, like I wasn't there um, losing us both a lot of time whereas if he'd let me straighten up I'd have got away, he would have got away and we wouldn't have lost the position to certainly the Ferrari um, but yeah most people can't drive in this game anymore um, and all the good ones keep getting banned for stupid reasons so yeah this Ferrari seemed determined to keep me behind um, by drifting as much as he could and also braking really early or right where I wanted to be so I tried getting a better run by taking a straighter exit but that didn't work um, and here he just kept braking for no real reason and um, yeah I, I was at fault for that um, but yeah I was getting fed up of drivers who can't drive uh, now you're going to come up behind our Porsche friend who uh, tried to drive through a physical object um, and yeah there's going to be more carnage there so the Porsche is going to get up behind the Lotus. I'm going to find the inside here. And that it wasn't the intention to run him out. Um, I had no militian there. I was trying to power out, but this car just, I think I got on the throttle a little too early. Um, so yeah, it is completely my fault that he went off there. Um, but I didn't have malicious intent, uh, genuinely. Um, and then here... I don't know what these two guys were doing um, but yeah we're going to take evasive action to avoid the Lotus 
and unfortunately we don't get the Lambo because I'm sure I would have been in front of him. Um, I think if I'd had a clean lap, I would have had the fastest lap. Um, I certainly felt three, four seconds quicker than what I did on my fastest. And then I'm not sure why I was on pole. Um, oh, I think I changed lobby. Um, and then I test drove uh, while they were doing a race. And yeah, here. We're going to go okay initially, then we're going to lose out to the handling beasts of the Lotai. Um, I don't know if that's the plural of Lotus or not. Um, so you're getting a horrendous run through there. And then this guy turned across me for no real reason. Yeah, I don't really know what that was about. Um, or was that the Dodge Viper in the mirror? I can't remember. This was a couple of days ago that I recorded this. And yesterday was rather eventful. Um, so yeah, coming up behind the Lotus, I was really surprised how much I gained on the brakes on that guy. Um, he is in a Lotus, so you should really beat me every day of the week on handling and braking um, but no, this Aston was really good on the brakes um, something I quite enjoyed and you see there we really put up to the back of him again actually give him a little love tap on his rear bumper but it's this part where the race falls apart for me um, through that corner you see how much he managed to pull out and there I thought I could take that flat and it just wasn't going to do it on the section of the rear wheels and that was it so we pretty much condemned ourselves to second place um, I don't think I can overhaul this guy with the first sector and this sector maybe if it was the 2021 layout of Abu Dhabi I might have been able to because there's not I feel it wasn't as handling based and then in the rearview mirror you might have taken a glance at someone using all of the runoff. Um, this guy is a complete noob. He takes all the runoff everywhere. And he was also running like a 6-9 handling Viper so he could have easily made all of these corners. Um, much quicker than me. Um, yeah, he's a pleb. Game tag is highlighted if you want to give him a bad rap. Um, but yeah, th this continues the sentiments of all the good drivers have left for the most sport, and you're left with the shit ones now, I think. Um, generally, I met someone good actually last time I did S class. Um, had a good race with that guy, I think it was Tom 89F. Um, and yeah, other than that guy, I've not really had proper good racing with anyone other than people I know well or know from open lobbies. So this guy, once he got past me, he seems to take normal lines except for there. Um, but you'll see, uh, I'm about to highlight the worst offence. Like, why the hell would you go out there? to try, like, that wasn't a miss breaking, that was intentional, um, and then, yeah, I think I must have cut another race out here or something, um, because I certainly didn't have that bad of a lap, uh, maybe this was the second, or the third session I did, the first session was the one I didn't record, then I did a second session session technically still part of the first where it, I recorded a bit there I kind of tried to thread the needle or I, I tried to thread the needle and then it, the gap sort of closed and I take that horrendously um, you may have noticed I've gained quite a like for this Aston I always wonder what to use on mid handling I know I have some Corvettes I've punted through there which was nice of the guy behind me um, so yeah, this sits at 6.4 handling and yeah, I'm really enjoying driving it actually. 
Oh, I know I've got a couple of Corvettes at 6.4 handling. I've got Noble at like 6.5. Uh, Celine at 6.5 but this is what I always want to go to um, now I've got it and now I've used it properly and yeah this was where I changed lobby um, this is the second session so we're gonna I thought we received a little punt in the rear but maybe we didn't Gonna have a little bit of a twitch. I think this car twitched out on me at one point, so I might be using normal steering as opposed to my normal sim. Um, so I'm not living up to my name here. I'm normal steer, normal twitch, not sim twitch. Um, and then bumping over that curb, I was really trying to stay within the lines, um, unlike the guy in front. Um, and yeah, here we're gonna bump off that curb again, this car takes curbs quir quite nicely um, and here we're going to overhaul a Ferrari F40 um, I thought that would be quite good in a straight line but clearly it wasn't so into this corner, it can be quite cumbersome so we'll take that as a double apex and there having to take the run off to avoid the carnage there um, and avoid going to the back of this Porsche so we're actually going to out drag it there and he's just going to slot in behind and he gets taken out. Um, and I don't think the Porsche did anything wrong, it was the guy in front of that that crashed. And this guy crashed, so there's a win. I'm going to leave it here, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, thank you for watching to the end. Hope you have a great day, hope to see you in the next one. Until then, bye for now.